hi guys in this video we will look at the application architecture we have the backend app and the front end app the backend app serve raw data and the front end app get backend responses process it and instruct the browser what to display so this is called front end backend separation where we will have front end as a different app and the backend as a different app you can see we have the front end react backend spring boot we make a request and we have the response by the backend it process and we will have the response okay so let's look at spring boot react full stack application architecture so here you can see i separated the backend flow and as well as the front end flow so in the front end we will start with the redox we have redox if you are new to redox redox is simple redox is a state management library for javascript applications so you can see here we have action action is a plain javascript object that describes a change to be made in the state so we also have the reducer which displays or specify how the state should change in response to an action okay so we also have the store the store an ob is an object that holds the entire state tree of our application okay so here we can see we have the react so the in the react we have the rotor and we use the rotor to navigate around our apps we also have the component so we also have the we will use functional component as a component that we will use in this application we also have the axios http here the axios http we will make it for a rest api call to our spring boot okay in the backend you can see we have spring race controller which specify endpoint which we will access the controller action and you can see we have spring data jpa the bridge between our backend application that is spring boot and the database so we use mysql to store data so this is the whole overview of the spring boot react full stack application architecture the for the front end and the back end okay so here we have tools and technologies used in front end we have front end so the front end we have vs code id we use react redux redux chrome dev tool and we use npm and node.js okay so in the backend that is tools and technologies used in backend we have the spring suite tool sts marvin apache spring boot spring data jpa and mysql driver so let's look at the prerequisite basic knowledge of javascript basic knowledge of html css react basic basic knowledge of java and node.js and npm installed so this is the prerequisite okay see you in the next video